Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 21. We're here on the second episode. Did a little bit of uh, tidying up here, showing inside real quick. Took out all these little frames. Um, I made this little cut down so I could put a ladder there and took out all those little, like, uh, I don't know, those frames that were just here. And then uh, over here, we cleaned up some of the extra debris, some of the, uh, ooh, I never looted this apparently, um, some of the extra rocks and wood and stuff like that. So we can start renovating this place. We'll uh, dig this out eventually and make a little bit of a farm. And yeah, not too bad so far. We uh, also hit up this house and this house just to grab some supplies. I think we are going to maybe go, let's go to this one up here and see if there's anything good in this place. Uh, oh, actually, I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Right over here, there's a little porta potty. And with the new update, they actually, uh, you can open and close this door and you actually get right into it. So like if you're running from a zombie, just, you know, hop in the porta potty. Uh, I can't guarantee if it's going to really do anything for you, but I'm not sure why it looks like there's kind of a toilet in there, but this is cool little neat little thing. Uh, looks like it's pretty new texture too, so I think they probably just added this whole thing in there. But yeah, not too bad so far. We do need to find a wrench. There's a lot of vehicles out here that we could probably take a part of. Actually, you know what? We could head over here to this uh, hospital and work on... Oh, this is a big hospital, boys. We can work on this place, see if there's anything good there. See how far we can get without uh, getting too overwhelmed. We don't really have a lot of crazy tools yet. Oh, it's a five-star, five-skull. Let's see, what do we got? Anything good. This is a nice looking texture. Look at like all the detail into it. <laughs> a flower and some plastics. Nice. Take this guy out. Let's use my knife. We oh, got black blood. Yes, yeah, so I realized the uh, the one mod that I was using was making this knife like extremely overpowered for whatever reason. So I had to uh, tone that down a little bit. The uh, it was just this knife though for some reason. I hit the zombies with other items and they didn't really do too much, but I'm not sure why I just decided to buff the bone knife. Um, the frames are still a little bit weird. I tweaked some other stuff and they didn't really do anything, so I'm not sure if it's just because it's still experimental. Maybe the code's like doing extra crap. I don't know. It's kind of annoying because it runs like garbage. Alright, let's take these guys out. I got this new baton that I found in a uh, little chest. Oh, she's not dead. I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to make it into this place, uh, considering we don't really have any crazy weapons or anything like that. So I guess we'll give it a shot. Ooh, this guy wants my booty. Eat that bitch. Haha, <laughs> it's a little bit dark in here. I did figure out for some reason my uh, thing finally works, my flashlight. Kind of sucks it's only on my gun though, but at least we have it. It's working. Oh, there's a guy right there doing a little creepy, creepy sneaky. Hop. Nice. Ooh, and we leveled up. All right, we'll, we'll grab. Can we grab the arrow? Oh, man. Right, let's check our skill points real quick. Every time I open the menu, it that pops up. All right, let's see where we're at so far. I think I keep, want to keep going strength because I want to get this up as much as I can. Yeah, it's a little bit stupid that I think that. Shoot these guys in the head multiple times and they don't die with a bow and arrow. I missed that one. She juked me out. Dunk. There they go. Yeah, was that three arrows in this girl's head? Sheesh. And then whatever I dropped or whatever I missed over here. There we go. Sweet. All right. Anything else going on in here? These haven't changed too much. That's new. Looks pretty cool. A little bit of extra scenery. All the new paintings are nice to look at. Said those overdone older ones. Get the bow out. Oh, I bet you there's going to be a lot of people in here. Let's see. Oh, this is actually a full bed machine. Actually, you know what? While we're here, we do have to get some food and water, but there's no food. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that, boys. Uh, some coffee. Yucca juice. Let's buy that. 3424. Yeah, let's go for that. We'll buy one of those. We do have some water in case we do need that. We'll actually drink some of the water right now. There's a zombie chilling in there. Oh, he heard me. You're that bitch. There we go, he's down. Oh, that's cool. We can actually open these now. I remember, you used to have to break them. We got in here, anybody? Toilet? Anything good? Ooh, 
sweet boys. We finally got a good knife. Might as well just scrap that one. Right, what else? That's it. I hear some zombies. So that's cool. A little sliding door. Why would we look like we're so tall for it? I could clop our head on the top. Uh, we do have to get some rotten flesh. I'm probably going to hack these up real quick. How much do we get? Anything? Oh, uh, we got one and some nitrate powder. We need that so we can make the uh, farm plots. So we are going to need food as uh, soon as possible. Um, it's day three, so we have a little bit until the horde, which I'm not worried about. But it's just uh, the long term and getting food. Like, I only had a few cans to eat, and those are all pretty much gone. So, not doing so good on the food department. So, check out this door. Oh, this one's locked. Uh, we should be able to go through that way. Ooh, vehicle magazine. Nice. Bicycle and wheels. Sweet. Got in here anything? Oh, these are the ginormous laundry piles. The laundry uh, machines. I don't know why they uh, have those. Oh, hi, boys. All right, we're going this way. We'll let them come out. Oh, I guess we're all just going to hang out right there. Oh, that's a feral. Oh, he's coming through. All right. All right, big boy. Um, I did change. Oh, he's coming right through. I did change um their movement speed. Oh, jeez. Can I hit him? Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, we got him. Are we going to heal fast enough? I can't. Can I? Oh, I don't know why it would not let me heal. I clicked like four times. That sucks. Anyways, I was saying we did change the movement speed on everybody. So they uh, moved a little bit more and also turned on feral sense. So uh, they're going to be hopefully a little bit more difficult. Let's see where this takes us. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know why we couldn't just uh, heal right there. But it is what it is. All right, bitch. Stay down. Oh, here they all come again. Dang, I was hoping I hit the guy in the air. Oh, he's juking me out. Yeah, eat that bitch. And that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're popping. Boink. That's one. Boink. That's two. Anybody in the ceiling? Nope. And doink. Nice. That was easy. A little bit of a surprise. It was that easy. So I hit the button. I bet you there's a bunch of them that's going to come out. This might be the cafeteria, which will be really good. But let's open that door on the other side before we go to the cafeteria. Um, I guess it is a good thing that we died because we got some food and water. But we get kind of screwed over in the long run anyways. This might just go outside, actually. If it does, maybe I'll run back to shop. Yeah, ooh. This should be a nice, like, way to make a horde base. There's some thunder outside, boys. Nice, uh, thunderstorm day today. Ooh, look at this guy over here. Can we take him out? Oh, we hit him. Hit him again. Give me the old club. Waste all my arrows on. Alright, let me run back to shop. We'll make some more arrows and deposit all the loots. Alright, boys, well, I was actually thinking I did pick up some nice loot from uh, some previous travels, but I was thinking that we don't have a lot of food that I could eat right away. So I think I'm going to grab everything for the trader and uh, run to the trader real quick. See if I can find some stuff, maybe some seeds and stuff so I can get planting. And uh, we'll work on that first. The only thing is, I think I have to go all the way over here. Unless there's another one nearby, possibly. So I'll find out where the closest one is. And then we'll head over there and get some uh, some well-needed supplies. Alrighty, guys. We made it over to the trader. It was actually nighttime when we got here. So we ended up having to wait for him to reopen. We just uh, did a little bit of mining. There's some iron that we got. Some wood, stuff like that. Some soil as well. And I uh, will head up here and sell some of this stuff. And I was also working on some stuff back at the base. Ooh, why is this door damaged? That's odd. Um, back at the base to clear out some room so we can work on a horde base. So he's got, we'll sell all this stuff and we'll probably get a job or two. And that'll give us uh, something so we can get some extra, extra moolah and some extra XP. I did crank up the XP a little bit to 200% uh, just because so we can get some more use out of some of these skill points and stuff. 
So we were actually just leveled up from selling all that. Let's see if he's got anything good. I know they took out this the secret stash. But I think the regular inventory is supposed to have like some more stuff or something like that. Really don't see anything worth grabbing. This grill might be okay. Um, oh, we do need to get some food. We were having some issues with food. We we just ate and everything. We're already running low. Um, let's see. Oh, this first aid band isn't it? We're good on those. Yeah, so we do need to figure out something for food. A grilled meat. That's 10 food. <laughs> I mean, $72 isn't really too much. So I guess I'll just pick it up. So we have something. We need to learn the grilled meat recipe. So maybe we'll just grab this grill. Oh, it's expensive though. All right, we're going to have to grab a, uh, a job then. Let's see. Um, clear zombies 400 meters. We'll do that one. And then uh, we'll see where this is at. Oh, right over here. Sweet. All right. So we'll head over there real quick and then uh, work on that job. So we get a little bit of money and we can get some food so we don't starve to death. So one of those new purses too. Sweet. Ooh, a pistol. Fuck yeah. Now we just need to get some bullets. They didn't come with any now. All right. That's pretty sweet. Also, now the trader has like a radius, uh, a, doesn't have a radius for the kicking you out. You could only go into it before it kicks you out, like so it jump up the wall or anything like that. Um, then it'll kick you out, but like if you walk by, it won't kick you out and kind of screw you over. Uh, let's head over here to this, this quest and then we'll get started on there. Right, boys, we made it over here. It looks like a little bit of a mine and we got this big boy, Mushroom Mining Co. Get this guy out. We also spent some of our points on... Um, some more mining stuff, which suits this place, I guess. And um, one into agility. All right, so the trick for this guy is to clear it out and then do the quest, and then you can get double the rewards. A little bit of extra work, but some some POIs, it's really worth it. All right, all that is good. We got a little bit of a loot container right there. Ooh, we got a bunch of mushrooms. That'll come, probably come in handy. Ooh, I hear somebody too. There's a generator bank. Oh, I hear some more friends. There's one. Oh, hello. Good night. Power attacks on this knife are pretty good. Get out here, bitch. Let's try out this club. Beat her over the head with it. There she goes. Knock it right down. Alright, so there's this ladder here. Let's go up here, see if there's any goodies. Ooh, a lot more mushrooms. We got the crawler guy over here. I hear somebody else, too. There he is. Oh, there's the loot. I wonder if we jump on that, if it's going to break, that'd kind of suck. I want to grab all these mushrooms. All right, boys. See what happens. Nothing so far. Once I open something, it's going to drop me. Got uh, a couple books, I think. Can I walk? All right. Oh, there's a duffel bag. Anything good in here? A wooden club. Let's pop this guy open real quick. Oh, vitamins. That's good. We'll take that. Uh, maybe we'll have a snack too. Some good old dog food. There we go. Pop up here. Oh, that's cool. Look, there's even little stones it's hold, held by. What is this? All right, I think that's that's it so far. Yeah, just uh, have to do the quest then. Dunk. Oh, she juked me out. There we go. Give me the arrow, bitch. Yeah, I don't know what's down there, but maybe we'll drop down there real quick. There we go. See, is this coal? No, it's just a regular rock. Let's see if there's anything good up here. Oh, I think it was down here already. Yeah, the ladder takes us back up. Okay. We'll head back outside and uh, hit up that quest, and then we'll just basically run it over again. We should get tons of mushrooms. So that'll be sweet. As long as it still works, unless they patched it, I don't I haven't tested it yet. Ooh, I just ate that sham sandwich. I was waiting for it to make me shit my my pants. We also have this uh, amethyst pistol. Why don't we load that up? There we go. Sweet. Uh, we'll just keep that out then, so we can punch all the mushrooms, and we'll start up this quest. Let's see, yeah, we should be good. Yep, there's all the loot. Sweet go through all this again real quick all right boys come on out time to play time to play catch the arrow in the head Ooh, right in the, the cheek i'm not sure oh he juked me out look at that juke that out bitch oh yeah right in her ear 
so much for the hearing aid. And clunk. Oh, I missed. Clunk. There you go. Oh, clunk his head right off. Nice. Oh, I saw this. There's somebody behind me. Clonk you too, buddy. Oh, 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 hello. Dunk. Oh, he ain't dead. We got heal. We got bloody. Deep laceration. He fucking slapped me, boys. Holy shit. Slap that. Jeez. I don't even know what happened right there, boys. Holy balls. We got deep laceration and a concussion. Wow. As long as we don't die, we'll be all right. That really hurt. I don't know why he hit me so hard. He was pissed. I smacked. I think I smacked him with something. Nothing, boys. Nothing good. We'll take that. We'll use that. These don't look too bad. Where are those? Take off our mod off of this guy. Uh, ooh, we'll use that. Ooh, we get a tire. A wheel. That's good. Let's see if this does anything. Actually, we could take those steroids. Uh, but takes away a lot of water. YOLO. We got, I think, yucca juice. Sweet. All right. We'll head out here. We'll head back to the trader. Turn that in. And then also we'll sell everything. See if we get a little bit more food. Hopefully we don't need too much water. Uh, oh, I thought I had a yucca juice. I guess I told. <laughs> Shit. All right. We're well, just going to send the boys. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, what's he got? Uh, nothing really that great. 100 bullets. Oh, shit, I'll take that. All right, let's sell everything real quick. We're going to keep hold on to that. Ooh, it leveled up too. Uh, we need some... Oh, nothing good for the medical area. Grab this yucca juice. I know it's expensive, but we're probably going to need it. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. He doesn't have anything really else that's worth it. Right, we'll just grab another job here then. Buried supplies. Let's do that one. And we're just going to head back to uh, to shop then and see. I think we have a first aid kit. Maybe we'll have a sewing kit. And then hopefully that fixes us up. And we can drop off all the stuff that we have too. Ooh, what's that? Uh, ooh, ammo. Nice. All right. We'll meet you guys back there. Oh, there's actually airdrop too. I forgot about the airdrops. Let's go grab that and then we'll head back to the base.